you i'm going to show you something like you can see how this code is working over here so if i'm weird the mouse is weird the mass is here you can see mass prediction male and the age the model is predicting three things either i have wear the mask and uh, my gender and my age if i remove my mask from the face it says a no mask male and my age so how the model is working this code uh, is different from the last one that i have uh, shown to you the last code we are just predicting the mask and the only mask we are not in this code we are doing three things either the person wear the mask and not and uh, what is the gender of that person and the age of the person if you can see how well the model is predicting my age and and gender and uh, i wear the mask or not so let's start explain the code how this code is working using jupyter notebook if you haven't watched that video go and watch that video so that the code is similar the difference between that video is here so i added two more things age and the gender so the last video we are just only predicting mask and no mask so the code is simply and i just downloaded my code from uh, from my github so i just gonna explain it here for you so here is the code you can see first we mount the library if you are using the google collab check out which version we have import the libraries and necessary libraries for training and test it pass the path of our data set so here is the data set that i explained in the last video i'm just gonna go through here also you can download it from here so you can use is that data set i mentioned the data set for you so after that you can see i define the model which model you want to use you can just pass the name of the model here and it will automatically call that model and here i'm just define i have defined the model uh, uh, that which uh, the these four models and after that i'm just gonna load the data set in the list and then splitting the data set at 20 percent for testing and 80 percent for training and check the shape of the data set and after that i define the top layers of the network like like dense layer and the last layer we have two classes mask or not mask with soft mask classifier so here is the model you can see how the model looks like and here is the model training that we train the model and after that so here is the results of the model and here is a evaluation matrices of that model so after that here the specificity is sensitivity and classif uh, classification sensitivity specificity and classification of uh, accuracy of the model and these are the evaluation matrix and roc curve and here we can also reload the model by using this method and call your model here is just we train the model and up to here we save that model for this code real time face mask detection we again so here when we train the model we have to download that model and then you you have to define uh, in your computer so you can see here here is the model that i have downloaded so here is the necessary libraries that you need and you will uh, make sure you have already installed these packages in the libraries in your local machines so here is the pre-trained model that i'm using for face detector and age and gender de uh, detection so these are the necessary libraries you have to be in your in computer if you're gonna uh, detect the ages and uh, um, the gender of a person so i'm calling these libraries face detector for detecting the face using a deep learning pre-trained model and here it our own model for classification of these things so i'm going to run these cells once by once so here i'm just defining the model age and the gender model over here and defining the age list and the, and the gender list so you can see here how the age list looks like if but it's showing the ages in the intervals so if someone have age between 25 to 32 it will show in this interval someone have age between 15 to 20 it's showing the uh, this interval so on so let me run this one here is the code that i explained in the last video that main function that basically uh, detecting your face in a particular frame and drawing the boundary bars on particular uh, face and then after that did that uh, uh, drawing the boxes detecting the face drawing the boxes and also 
passing that phase to the model where the model this model gonna predict or uh, this model gonna predict either we classify as a mask or not so this is the whole code up to here so here i'm using two method like you can pass the video also and you can also use uh, a, a real time uh, streaming so after that here is a function if you want to quit uh, quit exit the uh, tk enter so here is the last so make sure here if you i'm using mac so i have uh, ma made a video so that the file is in the form of mov so you make sure if you're running you have your own format otherwise you you need to pass something like static so it will pick every kind of uh, file in from your computer so uh, define this thing if you have mp4 file or other like suppose so i'm, I'm going to show you this thing so let's try to run this code here is the main function so let's see how it's look like so here if i'm gonna use the live streaming here so it's ask me uh, for this i have the mov file so that's predicting the mov file so it's 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 predicting my mov file here so let me show you what happened oh so i think i'll have to run the code again so let's see So I'm just gonna run the code again. So I have run this cell first, second, third, fourth, five, six, and seven. Just run the last one cell. Here I'm just gonna pass. The file stream, I'll have to check that one and we'll let you know. Problem was that so I find finally I found the problem. So I'm using here the video. I was using here the video file, video streaming in last code. I just commit this line and again uh, using the video streaming. Basically, I'm using the Mac. I hope it it, it does not make any problem if, if you have a Windows operating system. So you can just use this function. But here I'm in the Mac. So I'm, I'm going to use this function rather than this one. So for uh, for if, if you if you are going to predict something from uh, from uh, from given source of source data like videos if you have the videos in your computer you're gonna pass as a video so let me show you you can see here uh, okay so I'm gonna run it this thing again so if you see here this time it works the frame rate is really high so in the Mac. So it, it, it seems work here. You can see here it's predicting the last it's when it stop is no mass male and, and my age. It's predicting my age and also showing the results over here. So hope you understand uh, this code. So I'm going to change this one MP4 for you. So if you're using uh, other like Windows operating system, make sure I, I hope you have M MP4 videos or MV you have mvk something like there's a lot of extension for the videos whatever you have you can use it and you can also use this function if you want that is really important to for you if you're going to pass a videos here so this is the code for uh, predicting uh, for, for, for for real time prediction of gender and age so i also mentioned this code in here so as a dot py file so you can use this code also if you want Basically in Mac, uh, if you have M1 chip, it is really hard for to run this code. It, sometimes it does not pick the library. So I'm, I'm, that's why I'm running a notebook file here. So you can run it for both files. I'm going to mention uploaded this code on my uh, uh, blog if you have this one. So this blog, I'm going to upload this code on the blog. You can find it here. And also I will going to upload this thing on my channel and my GitHub repository. Here I will going to upload these things on my github repositories and also in the my channel you can find these videos in the channel and if you have any further question do let me know i will try to answer you as soon as so hope you understand this code so this this is basically why i'm mentioning this is basically last time i i few months back i upload the code where we are predicting the face mask detection using hair cascade but the hair cascade does not 
predict well we can see so le let me show you rather than I i'm going i'm going to show you so you can see here a few months back I, I was trying to explain something using the hair cascade method you can see here yeah this one is so we're using the hair cas cascade method for this one and uh, the other one i'll try to open this one uh, i'm using the hair cascade method over here so uh, you can see here hair cascade method so the hair cascade method does not perform well that's why uh, i just uploaded this cascade mat method does not perform well so when you wear something and when you have you you have you you hide your face so the hair cascade matter does not uh, try to capture your face well so it, it, it's it's really hard for the hair cascade matter to capture uh, capture your face features if you wear mask and something like that so that that is the best library uh, the method a pre-trained model that either you have wear if you have wear anything in in your face the model predict well with your faces so by using this code i'm 100 percent sure your model will gonna be you will gonna predict a well and in a good man will predict the result highly accurate with with a high accuracy if you are using this model and training your own model for classification so thank you so much for watching this video